Oh, all right, guys. Well, well, well. We have the info for AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening, and I can already sense that people are going to be incredibly disappointed with uh, AGL Vegito. But here's the thing. Um, just with his increased stats, right? Let's go ahead and pull up uh, Vegito's info, right? So this man is at 15,800 attack right there. That's his non-EZA. After EZA, he has almost 19,000 attack. I'm telling y'all right now, even with the very modest upgrades he was giving, given, he is going to hit way, way harder. He <laughs> Now, I don't I need to see him in game before I can concretely say how close he is to Easy A Janemba or SDR Cooler, but I, I think chances are very good that he's going to be on or around that same level. I just upon seeing the initial info, I probably would say I, I like SCR Cooler better, but Vegito could be better than Janemba. It, it's just, let's go ahead and take a look at the details. So, uh, we actually got it from uh, the homie Talon this time. So, let's go ahead and take a look what we got here. So, leader skill, AGL types key, 400% of stats. I mean, we already knew that. That's The leader skills have been going in the exact same pattern, so we knew that. Um, should be good for Dokkan Battlefield, especially for, like, free players or players who have been around a long time. Um, so... Looks like he gets um, immense damage, raise allies attack by 35%. I believe it's 30%. Yeah, okay. So at SA14, it becomes 35%. That is pretty good. Um, that's a nice little extra attack buff that he's going to give the whole rotation. One other thing I would remind people is that... So imagine Vegito is in slot number one. Um, every single time Vegito is attacked before he goes... That will give you an extra chance to perform your uh, additional from the hidden potential system. So if Vegito gets attacked, let's say, four times before Vegito attacks, then you basically have five chances for his additional from his hidden potential system to activate. Um, so Vegito is going to be doing a lot of damage, and if he can get that double super attack, you're going to get this little attack buff twice, which is going to be really, really nice, right? That definitely does increase the damage for the whole rotation. Then if we're thinking about something like the legendary Goku event, where that Goku has such a monstrous defensive stat, um, this Vegito uh, is going to help do more damage because it's going to give that just a little bit of extra attack to the whole uh, team. So that's going to be very good. Um, then... So, he still mitigates damage by 80% and counters with tremendous power against normal attacks, right? So, so that's exactly the same. Uh, he kept that. I figured there was no way they were going to increase that damage reduction. And, I mean, people were living a pipe dream acting like this man was going to dodge super attacks. There's no way. If he... if Okay, so if he... this Exactly this right here. If he also reduced damage from supers by 80%, he'd be better than killing Khalifa. Just just this unit, not an easy aid. If he also reduced damage, because he would be untouchable, and he would counter everything, he would just be insane, right? So, like, I knew they weren't going to give him the ability to, like, counter super attacks or dodge super attacks or anything like that. It's just too much. And just judging by the sheer amount of attacks that this guy is going to be able to put out, I thought it was very unrealistic that they were going to give him any monster attack buff. And sure enough, uh, what they decided to do, so if HP is 40% or below, you see enemy super attacks. That's actually, I like that, but 40%, that's, dude, that, that's super low. Like, that's that's tough. That That's not something you're going to have happen too often. I do like that they're now introducing this into a lot of characters nowadays. Um, you know, Dokkan Fest Piccolo allows you to see enemy super attacks. Um, Android 14 and 15 as a free-to-play unit allow you to see enemy super attacks if they're on rotation with Android 13, but then it lasts for the entire fight. So then the entire fight, you're able to see where the enemy super attacks are going to be. These are very useful abilities. Like, now we have several different teams. You know, the Planet Dynamics Saga team with Jace, uh, the Ginyu Force team, um, you know, the teams Dokkan Fest Piccolo was on, like Namekian and Rival, um, and then now Patara as well, uh, will be able to see where these enemy super attacks are going to be. I mean, but again, getting below 40% HP is tough. It's not going to be easy. Um, so, and then if Vegito gets attacked, then he gets a 40% attack and defensive buff. Um, that, I think that's fine. I would admit, I feel like they probably could have given him, like, 50%. Like, I think 50% was the guess I was throwing out. I thought that would have been reasonable, and at the start of turn, too. But they do really want Vegito to at least get touched before he gets any sort of buff whatsoever. I mean, it's not really a big deal, because no matter what, 
on every counter, he's always going to have the 40% attack buff because it's the second he gets hit, right? So that's good. Um, but if, if like you're you have Vegito in the first slot <clears throat> and he super attacks and the enemy does not uh, attack him first, then of course he's not going to have that 40% attack buff. But I imagine just with the uh, extra like almost, I mean, keep in mind this guy got almost 4,000 attack, like, <laughs> well, uh, 3,000, excuse me. This guy got, like, an extra 3,000 attack right here. So it, that extra damage, just from that alone, is going to be through the roof. I'm telling y'all. Then you put a 40% attack buff on it. Uh, there's This guy really could be the number one or number two TUR in the game, I, I think. Very, 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 very easily. Because this same... Again, I haven't really looked too much at if people are complaining about Vegito's uh, buffs and stuff yet. But I would imagine it's going to be similar to what happened with uh, Physical Full Power Frieza, where when his details first came out, people were like, oh, wow, they did, they, he's terrible. They didn't do anything to him. And it's like, no, no, no. Just the extra attack made his, like, supers just hit, like, a freight train. So Vegito is good. And do not forget that he has one of the best link sets in the game. They nerfed all Vegito units basically. Well, now Vegito Blue, because Vegito Blue has over and a flash and prepared for battle, so he was not nerfed. But then Tech Vegito Blue was nerfed bad, um, and Physical Super Vegito was also nerfed. But this guy has prepared for battle and shocking speed. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, when we're talking about the Majin Buu Saga team and the Patara team, that will cause this guy to be king. Because Patara, of course, you have some of the Zamasu units on there. Eventually, we're going to get an LR Merge Zamasu. I mean, obviously, that is going to happen, right? And when LR Merge Zamasu comes out, you know, he's probably going to work really well with this Vegito. Because I'm sure they'll have Fierce Battle, Shocking Speed, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter. Like, they're going to have a ton of links. Like, that's going to be really helpful. Um, and then the Majin Buu Saga team. Uh, you know, all these Boo units in here that have shocking speed, Ultimate Gohan has got shocking speed, you know, uh, some of the Gotenks units have shocking speed, so this AGL Super Vegito, if we truly do get a new Majin Buu Saga leader, um, that's, you know, not this guy, because, you know, again, this guy only having Prepare for Battle and Fuse Fighter, it's, it's wonky, there's so many shocking speed units on the team, but now if the leader of the team, like, let's say it's a transforming Vegito, and they do give him prepare for battle and shocking speed, which they probably won't, because, you know, Android 13, Cooler, and uh, Future Gohan, all three of them got shafted out of their important key link, right, Future Gohan doesn't have prepare for battle, and then 13 and Cooler don't have shocking speed, so that's very annoying, so I'm sure, you know, even if, like, we get, my, my theory is we'll get a base form Vegito with a transformation mechanic into Super Saiyan as a Majin Buu Saga category leader, but he he might not even have prepared for battle, which is what's going to be really crazy. Um, but yes, uh, the sky is not falling. That Vegito is likely number one or two as best as you are in the game. I, I struggle to see if he's going to be better than Cooler, though. Cool, I mean, I was talking with the homie Goresh. I'm probably going to ask Goresh to do a video with me on it, but we were talking. I feel like... I, this might sound crazy, but I think SDR Cooler might be the third best unit in the game. I, I think only Gohan and Goten and Kill and Cleef are better than Cooler. Like, I, that seems ludicrous. Like, better than Goku and Frieza, the LR Fusions, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4s. But, I, dude, I don't know. I, <laughs> I feel like Cooler might be better than them. He's just, he's so crazy. It, the fact that he transforms on turn 3 against 75% of the game, it's just, it's it's madness. It, it really is. So, uh, I'll, I'll probably see if Goresh wants to do a video on that. Um, cause you all know how the homie Gresh feels about cooler and freezer units. Um, then we also have EZAs for Android 18 and 17. Um, I actually like, can we see their stats, what their increased stats are? I, someone did tweet it to me. I think, I think they might only be around like 15,000 attack or something like that, which is not, it's not bad, but it's not super high. So let's go ahead and see what they do. So 18 has tech int and SCR key three and 50% of stats. Okay. Uh, so she stacks attack and greatly lowers defense. I like that. That's good. Um, she changes rainbow orbs to int. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I guess that does help out, um, in LR cell for the Android, uh, slash cell saga team. Cause remember the, the, the area where I think these two are going to be the biggest buff is to the Android slash cell saga team, right? Like I, th this 18 probably is the best 18. In Let me double check. I, I imagine this probably is the best Android 18 in Dokkan after her EZA. Um, let me let me let me see because the tech one is still really good. 
this AGL one is very solid. I mean, she well, she's such a good support type unit, but I don't know. Overall, this A team probably is now going to be the best one in the game. But obviously, 17, you know, he's not going to be as good as Dokkan Fest 17. Like, Dokkan Fest 17 just does way too much. But for the Android slash Cell Saga team specifically, or even the Target Goku team, I guess, because um, MVP 17 is not on the Target Goku team. So those two teams, this 17 could be very good. Um, this... The best thing ever in Dokkan is EZAs, and take, like, these, have these units ever been good, like, even when they first came out? Like, when they first came out, you know, back in April of 2017, I wasn't really super heavily, well, actually, no, I was heavily into Dokkan at that time. Okay, so I think that, like, that was right around the time they got Rebirth along with, like, some of the BoJack units and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think they were ever, like, really relevant, right? Well, now they are very relevant. Uh, so change Rainbow Orbs to Int. Attack and defense, 80%, which will be good, because they are going to have decent stats. Um, mitigate damage by 18%. I like that. And then when 17 is on the same rotation, attack and defense, uh, an extra 70%. And then she gets a medium chance to dodge. That's going to be like a 30% chance or a 25% chance. So they're just like the future androids, then, is what that means. Okay. I like it. I do. Um... I think I like 18 better, just from what I'm looking at. So let's quickly look at 17, too. So 17 stacks defense, which is good. Greatly lowers defense. Leader skills fodder. We don't have to worry about that. He changes AGL orbs to rainbow. Ooh, no. I know. I think 17 is better. Because you always want to create rainbow orbs, right? That helps out the entire team. Whereas 18, by cr changing rainbow to int, you're closing paths off. That's not what you want to do. So, 17 is opening paths up for the whole team. So, he's helping the entire team, whereas 18 is only helping int-type units. That's fine if we're going to use 18 in Dokkan Battlefield. But anywhere else in the game, we're using category teams. <clears throat> uh, that ability is not the greatest. Actually, I think she... Hmm. But is there an int 17? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Not a good one. I mean, there's Hellfighter 17, but that's not going to count. Okay. Um, so he gets a 17% chance to crit from his passive. That's fine, I guess. I, I do like the mitigate damage better there. Um, and when 18's on the same rotation, he gets an extra 80% attack and defense, then a medium chance to do a super attack. Okay, so he has slightly less attack and defense at the start, but he gets more of a buff when 18 is around. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> here's the thing. I, these units are good. They're very helpful, but... This, like, these 17, these are not units you're going to run on main rotation, right? So, like, they're they're always going to be nerfed and not as good as they could have been. I don't like this. I, I don't like them having to be on the same rotation together because you're not going to do that, right? It's one of those things where it should have been if they're on the same team. I, I've talked about this at length that... I'm not really so upset about units that need another unit to be on the team. But when we're talking same rotation, uh, it's it's just bullshit, quite honestly. Because um, both of these units uh, are going to be heavily nerfed. I mean, you, you, like, on the Android slash... I, I've had my complaints, many complaints about the Android slash Cell Saga team. But no matter what, you're not going to be running Android 17 and 18 on rotation together. Like, you're, you know, there's still incredibly powerful units on this team, regardless of that, right? Uh, I guess this Trunks probably is the best one for the Android slash Cell Saga team, huh? Yeah, he is, probably. Uh, at least the Super Saiyan Trunks future. Sure wish I had this guy rainbowed, but, you know, oh well, what can I say? <laughs> All right, so let me know what you guys think of these EZA units. Again, Vegito, it's hard to say for sure for me, um, but I do think he's probably going to settle in as the number two TUR in the game, probably a little bit better than Janemba. Um, we'll see. I, I want to see how much damage he's going to take from super attacks, though, um, after he gets that 40% defense. What is his... Uh, hold on, I want to see what his defensive stat is. I, I, that That's one thing I, I wasn't paying attention to. What is his defensive stat? Easy aid. 10,000. Okay, so his defense barely went up. All right. So he has he has the physical Broly thing for his defense. His defense is not the best compared to some EZA units. It's good, but it's not king level like his attack. Again, there's only 20 units in the game that, that are going to have more attack than him or something like that. Well, it's, it's more than that. It's like, I don't know, like 30 units, but he... Vegito is fine. 
if people are going, oh, the sky is falling because he only gets 40% attack and defense, don't worry. Because the almost 19,000 attack is going to cause him to be ridiculous. But he remains the same. Like all counter units, you must give them full crit in order for them to be uh, so unlock their full potential. You've got to give them full crit. Absolutely. Every single unit that counters... Well, I'm, I'm talking specific... Not like AGL Khalifa, who counters super attacks sometimes, or like the LR Super Saiyan Force, who counters super attacks sometimes, right? I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the Vegito units that counter every single normal attack. Yardrat Goku counters those normal attacks. In order for those units to be at their maximum effectiveness, those counters have got to be crits. So you have to go full counters on these units. Um, that is absolutely... I would... Like, really, the hidden potential system builds can be important for cer certain units, but I would never say it's important enough for you to go in and change it and have to reuse, like, more orbs. But... For, like, AGL Vegito, like, to give him full crit if you didn't, it may be worth it. It is very important. So, let me know what you guys think of AGL Vegito's EZA. I think he's going to be very good. I'm definitely very excited. Tomorrow, we'll probably get a day to download him. We'll see. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.